Oh, look at me. I've gone all Nick Page. <laughs> yeah, hey, and I'm cold. Yes, put that on. Mm, don't suit me really, does it? So, I've been asked a couple of questions. Um, one about camera raw, and another one about TIFF save options. Um, I'll deal with the camera raw one first, because it'll lead into the other one. Um, there's a little bear trap on Adobe Camera Raw, which some people know all about, and others don't. And I saw a shining example the other day, when I was looking over a guy's shoulder who was processing a RAW file for some paying customer, and he used Camera Raw, and he walked straight into it. And I thought, dickhead. Mm. Now, those of you who are used to using Lightroom, won't use camera raw or at least ways you shouldn't do because you've got no need for it but i know one or two people do use camera raw because they can't get on with lightroom why i don't know but it is what it is um, but there is no benefit to using camera raw not really um unless you're using camera raw smart objects inside of photoshop well that's a completely other story but fundamentally the processing in camera raw is absolutely identical to the processing in Lightroom, they are one and the same thing. However, when you work up a RAW file in Lightroom and you scoot it over to Photoshop, it is to all intents and purposes a 16-bit TIFF in the ProPhoto RGB color space. Now, if for whatever reason you can't use Lightroom because you've not got it on a particular machine you happen to be using at the time, or whatever you might be tempted to use camera raw and so i've got this raw file open shot the other week over in norway white tail seagull yes he's looking mighty fine and but he's looking a little bit on the dark side because hmm, <laughs> lightroom puts stupid bloody contrast all over stuff and so does camera raw so all I'm going to do is come over to the presets. And I'm going to use one of the presets that I've got in Lightroom, which is this DR Extend Process version 5. And we'll just apply that and now you can see how much better the image looks. And I mean, if I go up to 100%, and there we go, it's looking nice and sharp. No noise, that'll do. So we can go back to Fit in View and we can go open image now straight away you see we've got a bit of a problem because this is something you never see when you're using Lightroom and it says the NEF file has an embedded core profile that does not match the current working space well I have Photoshop set up to use ProPhoto RGB as the working space so what on earth has gone wrong there okay so we'll quick cancel on that and so we'll come back up to file, open recent, and we'll take 6112.nef, there it is. It's got the develop settings applied to it. However, this is the little bear trap with camera raw. It's down here at the bottom. And it's always been like this, and I do not understand why Adobe don't change it and make it match up with the defaults for Lightroom. Because if you look, it's going to export this to Photoshop in the Adobe RGB 1998 core space with a bit depth of 8, which is crazy. So what we'll do is we'll just click on there and we can bring up the workflow options and we'll change this to ProPhoto RGB and we'll change it to 16 bits and we'll click OK. And now we'll go open image. And there we go. So, this brings me nicely along to the other question I had, which is of Frank. And Frank says, something I must have noticed in the past, but don't recollect, as I've most likely just accepted what was selected by default. I've been saving images in Photoshop as TIFF. I've now been noticing the byte order section showing to select either IBM PC or Macintosh with Macintosh, the one that is already selected by default, and I'm now wondering which should be selected or if it makes any difference if using a PC. 
Also, should any of the other options be changed? And if so, what and why or which and why? As I already mentioned, I've not changed any setting except now to change the Macintosh selection uh, to the IBM PC setting. Mm, yeah. So what we'll do is we will just directly go and you see if we don't miss in Lightroom I could just go save and a little bar would come across here and that would be it, it would be done because Lightroom knows where it is and there's this backwards forwards um, traffic system between Lightroom, the Lightroom catalogue and Photoshop because we're using Camera Raw that's broken, well it's not broken we're just not using it so Camera Raw will just do one thing that's process a raw file and then ping it over to Photoshop then you've got to sort out what format it needs to go in and where you want to save it but if I just go save which will be the normal thing now we've got this uh, in the latest version of um, Photoshop which this is um, now we've got to save to cloud documents or save on your computer so we'll go save on my computer and so it knows where it's come from which is this folder here and yes it's going to save it as a tiff that's fine and with the embedded pro photo rgb color space so everything in the garden's rosy so we click save and because i've already done it it says replace so anyway now it come we come to the tiff save options which is what frank's question was all about so first of all we've got image compression now there's only one reason you'd want to compress an image and that's to save digital file space here we are in november of 2019 and our drive storage space or digital storage space data storage space of any form has never been cheaper i mean i can remember when we started back in um, in, in photography uh, in digital photography i can remember when um, you were lucky if you could get a 100 gig hard drive in a computer and uh, now we're up to i mean i've got what 16 terabytes of storage in this computer here that i'm working on at the minute and uh, it's our drive storage is really cheap so unless you've got some overriding reason to try and make your files small um, I just can't see the point in compression of an image so my recommendation is go to with, go with the default which is none now we've got this save image pyramid here and um, it's unchecked please don't check it it's a multi-resolution image thing and we we haven't worked on a multi-resolution image and i mean there was a time many moons ago where lots of software that you might want to work with um required a multi-resolution image um or you could actually work on a multi-resolution image i think adobe indesign will still take them but you know i mean it's neither in or there the image pyramid is for multi-resolution images we've not got a multi-resolution image so leave it unchecked and um, pixel order so we've got two options here interleaved and per channel now i suppose in theory per channel should actually read and write slightly faster but i, I don't really ever see any difference so just leave that in interleaved now we come to the thing that Frank mentioned, IBM PC or Macintosh for byte order. Um, there was a time when you needed to use that, or it benefited you to use that. But nowadays with modern PCs, um, Mac, Mac machines and those, uh, what do they call them? Hacking toshies and the Linux operating system as well. Um, doesn't make any difference whatsoever so you know Frank if you want to m m save them as IBM PC then feel free to do so but there is no reason whatsoever why your Windows machine won't read Macintosh byte order 16-bit uncompressed tips okay 
and of course layer compression if we got a multi-layered image um, let's just go and click cancel on that just for a moment and let's just duplicate the image and then go save so we could simply go save on computer yada 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 save yes replace but now because we've got multiple layers we can choose zip everybody knows what zip compression is rle i forget what rle stands for but it means fundamentally no compression yeah so it saves faster but it gives you a bigger file and you don't want to be taking that option because that just says discard layers and save save a copy mm, yeah mm. so tiff save options image compression none image pyramid unchecked pixel order leave it at interleaved byte order leave it at macintosh whatever operating system you're on and whatever computer system you're on and just do the sensible thing and save all your layers without any compression so frank hope that's answered your question i um, hope that's um, proved useful for anybody else who was watching and please don't forget if you're using camera raw don't forget to go and change the properties at the bottom okay to maintain a maximum uh, color space and bit depth workflow change it from adobe rgb 1998 8-bit to pro photo rgb 16-bit okie dokie till the next time guys see you soon two root